What is up, guys? Take up Booty Hunter here with another reaction video. And this time, I'm here to react to the new, newest Slipknot song off their upcoming album, which is the Dying Song, uh, quotation parentheses, sing along. Heck yeah, man. I've been hearing about this song like all week long. This song has been like all over the airwaves. This is Slipknot supposedly coming back. So I'm super excited about this. Definitely. I had another video about Slipknot planned, but let's just say I kind of wanted to shift gears and do something I haven't done in a while, which is a reaction video. So with that being said, Let's go ahead and get into it, man. All right, once again, we back. And again, this is Slipknot's The Dying Song, Time to Sing. And with that being said, man, let's go ahead and play this shit right now, bro. Oh, my bad. <laughs> The audio is not too loud. Hold on, I kind of wanted to address the. Uh, just go back real quick. Like, yo, what's with this shit, man? Are these like. You know, like, what's with this shit, bro? Are these like someone's fucking, like. Like stockings and shit, like leggings, like I don't know. It's like it was like, is this supposed to be a mask? Like, what the fuck is this supposed to symbolize? I don't know. I guess we'll I guess we'll find out later on into the video. You guys will probably let me know in the comment section. So yeah, let's go ahead and get in, get back into it, man. Okay, um, I'm not really sure how I'm kind of feeling about the somewhat robotic Ozzy vocals, like, off-rip. Off I don't know. It's kind of, I mean, it's different choice, definitely, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I gotta give it more of a chance. I don't think he's gonna be singing like this throughout the whole song. I hope not, because, yikes. Your death now, let them sing till you die. Die, 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 die. You let it go, rather than rejoice. Oh. You babble, look at Laura, go, why am I always in your death? Hold up, that was something. Right off rip, getting Iowa vibes. He's just well, fucking, it's like this sort of like calming, soothing music before and then. Corey with the robotic vocals, then all of a sudden it goes into like this shit is just comes out at you like boom, like fucking Molly with that
I tried to catch it at the right frame. For some reason, YouTube doesn't want to fucking cooperate with me. But yeah, Clown's got like a new weird disco mask thing going on. That's the thing. It's like a fucking disco ball mask going on. I saw it like a split second. I was trying to capture it in the right fucking frame, but you know, shit. What? Well, you know what? Matter of fact, let me see if I can. Hold on. Fucking play it back a little slower so I can fucking. So I can catch back up to it, for fuck's sake. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. Yeah, like the little freaking disco ball shit and all that, man. I, I like that a lot. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. I'm assuming not every member has their mask all changed up and stuff. Corey, he still has his... I mean, I, well, I guess he hasn't had that mask for a while. It's like a kind of sort of mix of like his... It, it's it's like a mix of the self-titled and it's a mix of the self-titled and Iowa mask, which I guess that's something I can appreciate. I just wish... With that mask, he would have maybe brought the dreads back along with it. Obviously, he doesn't have dreads, but he didn't really have dreads back then either. It was just a part of the mask. I kind of wish he would have kind of brought that back a bit with that too or something. I don't know. But, you know, with that being said, let's uh, turn the playback speed to normal and let's get back into it. Unless I see something else crazy. Whoa, fucking Sid, man. What the hell kind of alien shit does he got going on? I mean, but well, then again, Sid is, uh, bro, I think out of every Slipknot, uh, out of every person in Slipknot, I think Sid has always had some of the most craziest looking mask out of ev every other member in Slipknot. So... This this doesn't exactly so, so this shouldn't Dude, survive. what the fuck? Yo, dude. I really turned up the creepy factor with Tortilla Man, bro. They made him just look extra creepy. As if he didn't already look disturbing before, they turned it up a little bit with that new shit. But Sid still got his old mask right there right beside him. That's a pretty cool little uh, Easter egg thing. So I don't know if that's like just for the video or this is something that Sid's going to continue to do as a part of like his, his shtick. Sid's always been kind of wild, been on the wild side. They all have, but Sid's always been like that extra kooky one. So, you know, I, 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 I can appreciate that at least. He's carrying around. It's not an old mask, but it's the mask that he had before on like the chapel like on the uh fucking around the chapel town rag part uh or you know around their last album so okay i can appreciate that that's that's pretty cool he's great Okay, yeah, 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 it is. All right. 
Well, yeah, man. I guess if I have any lasting thoughts on that, that was a really dope song, man. It, again, it got me back and it, it brought, you know, back like uh, the Iowa vibe, you know, like the very, uh, the same vibe I got from Iowa is like, this song could have easily been on Iowa, bro. Easily. This is definitely something that could have been on Iowa back in the day. Like, no joke. Like, that's the vibes I was getting from this whole this whole song, man. I really dig it. But, I mean, it, it's like, but, you know what? Maybe I'll say that. It's like Iowa, but a little bit more matured, basically. But, yeah, the highlights, um, other than the old vibes that I got, the old Slipknot vibes that I got from this, the guys, even at their older age, still have tried, they tried to capture, like, some of that energy that they had back in the day and put it into this. And that's something I can really appreciate. Cause you know, I mean, a lot of bands, you know, especially when you get up there in terms of like how long you've been doing this shit in terms of age, in terms of all that. And you still try to push yourself to like be as energetic and angry and hungry as you were back in the day. That's something I can truly appreciate. And I think that's super dope that they did that for this song. And I'm assuming probably this whole album. This really makes me look forward to this album when it comes out. Uh, you know, when it comes out, I'll definitely give it a listen. I'll definitely review it. Totally. No problem. I will have no problem to view it on the channel. You know, if it's dope, it's dope. And if it sucks, then hey, I'm going to say it sucks. Despite if... Everybody else in their mama is pumping it up. If I don't like it, then I'm just going to flat out say it. Yeah. But heck yeah, man. Uh, other than that, this was a super dope song. This was cool. This was amazing. I really like this. I like the different masks that some of the members had, like Clown, a Tortilla Man, and shit like that. You know, and Sid. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I, I really dug that. I, I dug that especially. And another highlight... I would say was Max, Max's drumming, Max Weinberg, the new drummer they have. Yeah, his drumming is, bro, fucking insane. Obviously, nobody will ever be able to uh, replace Joey or truly capture what Joey did. But, hey, I'm going to be honest, Max comes, it comes a little bit close. While still having, while still kind of having his own spin to it, which is amazing, by the way. That is cool. You know, he didn't go into the band. Yeah, it's not like he came in and tried to add a whole nother thing into like the sound of Slipknot, completely like alienating like original fans or anything like that. He didn't do any of that, and that's something that again I really do. Uh, I really do appreciate that's super awesome. Again, I have nothing but good things to say about this, man. I don't have a single bad spot about this song. Uh, even the video was really well done. Sometimes a lot of these Slipknot videos can come off kind of cringe, and that's usually because Clown is kind of like the main creative force when it comes to all that shit, and sometimes, you know, his vision's a bit... It can, it can come off as a bit kind of cringy. It really can at times. So, yeah, definitely, dude. Uh, if I have to give this song the rating, 10 out of 10, man. 10 out of 10. One of the best rock slash metal songs I have heard in a long time. Keep it up, Slipknot. I hope this is what we can expect on the album. You know, definitely. I I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to listening to the album. I'm looking forward to reviewing the album. This is great. All around. Amazing. Totally. But, yeah. With that being said, man, if you want to see more dope content like this, you know, uh, like this and other stuff I do, like gaming, uh, talking about, like, movies or, you know, just a series of shit. Series of things. You're going to see dope content like this and other things that I might do on the channel. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Oh, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know you know the whole deal that YouTubers say and all that. Check me out on the rest of my socials that are 
on the link in the description. Heck yeah, man. I'm not going to put some big ass sign that says like in the description. Just yeah, check, check me out in the link in the description, man. Totally. Like if you want to get to know me on like my Twitter, Instagram, you know, follow me on Twitch, anything like that. Links in the description once again. And until then, this has been your boy, T Dog Booty Hunter, giving you guys another banger. And until then, I will see you guys next time.